Okay, YouTubers, Kiwi Guy here again. Um, it's been a, a lot of videos coming at you from me, but this one really important. I think you'll enjoy this one. Um, a different ROM. Um, I think if you've been a subscriber to my uh, videos, you'll notice that I use Rocket ROM. Um, I'm now using Android 4.0.4 um, because all the other versions were 4.0.3. This is Chris Gallo's ICS version 9. Um, it's got a different little custom installer, which is pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to give you a review of Chris Gallo's ROM. And um, before I do that, obviously I've got to boot clock up mod recovery, install touch, uh, touch uh, Abyss 4.2 kernel, and then flash Chris Gallo's ROM um, over top of that. Right, so let's do it. Uh, I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Obviously too far in there. Okay. Getting there. <laughs> right, okay, so um, installs it from SD card. Uh, we're going to want to install a kernel. Um, the safest way to flash is to install Abyss Note Touch Kernel 4.2. So that's that one there. So we want to install that. <clears throat> and then once we've done that, we need to go back into Advanced Settings. Go back, advanced, and we're going to reboot recovery. That way we're going to reboot into the new kernel, not into the one we're on now, which is what just cause errors. So we don't want to do that. If this is the first time you've flashed Abyss 4.2, um, it is a touch version of Clockwork Mod, so you can't use the volume up rocks or power or home buttons. You just got to touch the screen. Okay, so we want a factory reset. Okay, and we want to wipe cache partition. And we want to go to advanced. And we want to wipe divot cache and wipe the battery. So, wipe battery. Yep. And go back, and we want to wipe the delve cache. Oops. Was that? No, it was a double cage. Um, okay, now we want to install Zip from SD card. Oh, that was the wrong button. Install Zip from SD card. Um, my folder custom. It's in my ROMs. And Chris Kello version 9. And we want to go, yes, of course. Okay, now this is a little bit different than if you've flashed other ROMs. Um, it runs a little package installer so you can choose what applications uh, you want to install along with it. It makes it a lot easier than just ins installing your custom zips or other developers' custom zips that they've put in there. Um, so let's show this. This is called the Aroma Installation. Uh, it looks very nice, very clean. So, what's going to happen? It's going to run through a little executional file about what programs and what apps you want to install along with this ROM. It's all touchscreen, it's all good. So, um, you want the Samsung keyboard, you want the ICS camera. Just go through and, and just flag whatever things you want. You're going to need to put my files on there. Um, because if you don't, you're going to need to download one from the App Store because um, you won't be able to install all your ROMs that you've, all your apps that you've saved on your on your drive unless you go to the Play Store and download them all over again. Um, swipe keyboard, that's a, a must for me. Anyway, um, I just use swipe. So we'll go to the next. Um, I don't really like any of those 
semi apps. Um, so just I'll skip those. Don't want any of those. So go next. Um, semi widgets, clock widgets, issues. Um, no thanks. And which theme do you want? I'll just stick with Chris Carlos. I see his theme. Uh, which kernel? I like CF kernel. Um, the other ones seem to give me a few errors. And choose the modem one you want. I'm just going to go with the R version, which is the latest one. Um, next. And then that's it. So you're going to want to click install. Because we've installed, we've ticked all the apps that we want to install with this package. So, next. Here we go. This will take about two, three minutes. I'll just give it a quick fast forward. See you in a bit. And we're done. Click next. We want to reboot your note, of course. Don't want to sit there forever. And this may take about five minutes, especially if you've uh, reset all your data, which I recommend you doing. Um, you could always try it without it and see how it works. But um, what I notice with ROMs, if you don't reset all the data, delete all the cages, etc., then you, you may get a little bit of instability that may force close sometimes. Whereas I've been using this ROM for about a, just over 24 hours and I've had no errors at all, no problems. It is super smooth, which is why I'm um, taking a bit of time out to make another video and show you guys what the story is with this version 9 Chris Gallo's ROM okay so we've hit the next stage um, finished optimizing, upgrading Android, blah 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 okay so let's just swipe and get into this ROM and see what the deal is. Okay, obviously, um, it wouldn't normally look like this. This is running um, Apex Launcher, and I've got my custom background. About phone 4.4, baseband version LRB, kernel CF, and the board number is LRG. Chris Colors ROM version 9, and running his ICS theme too. Right, let's see how this pans out. Okay, pretty quick. Look at that. Tasking between panels, very, very fast. Between screens, it's still quick. I mean, it's not a lot of difference between his previous ROMs and even Rocket ROMs. It was pretty quick between panels. Um, I've noticed it is a lot sharper going between apps and going between app drawers loading that up and going back, it's pretty quick going into Gmail and out, it's pretty quick text in, out phone phone always takes the longest that I've noticed and that was pretty quick that one, oh that's the semi um, free chat a little bit longer camera, that was pretty quick actually into previous taken and out that's quick into wallpaper that was quick, into live wallpaper music usually takes a little bit longer than that um, so there you go, everything was real quick um, into my root explorer Play Store, and then it's taking a little while today. But um, yeah, Play Store is pretty quick. Okay, now along with your phone dialer, the next slowest to open is usually the GPS. Um, like uh, I've got three different GPS I use. Um, probably the best one um, is Sajic. Not the fact that it's free, but um, it just has a few more map updates and it's open source, clearly. Um, so that's it's pretty quick. I 
and out again. Yeah, pretty flawless, eh? Um, so obviously I've installed many things that come along with this app. Um, roll tube's not there. Um, what else could you choose? Oh, that's just a quick office. I don't think that came off the app. That's just my version that I've downloaded. Um, but you get a lot of choices between all the SAMI apps you want to install. I choose not to. Um, and you'll notice that when I task all these away, I'll go into Task Manager and you'll see that there's quite a lot of RAM. I think that's partially because I haven't installed the the rubbish SAMI apps. I've still got SPN, SPN functionality. Uh, let's just check this. 387. So over 410 megabit, megabytes of RAM space left, which is which is always tasty. Um, I've selected Awesome Beats with the package installer, but that was pretty much it. Everything else was just clear stock ROM. Um, actually, I might run a few benchmarks. Um, they are not great to use as a governor of what your best ROM is because um, some ROMs will have really really high benchmark scores, and yet when you use it, your actual user experience isn't that great. It's a bit laggy between screens, pages apps, so I'm just going to swipe everything away, airplane mode is going to be on and I'm going to run that benchmark. Okay, you might have noticed some pretty high frames per second in the 3D aspects of the GPU, which is pretty good. Um, that's the score there, 3804. Um, pretty good, actually. I was not Chris Kelly's ROMs aren't usually that high. Rocket ROMs usually a little bit higher. However, um, Chris Kelly's ROM certainly has a better user experience. There's more features in the settings. Um, comes with CPU, SPI, audio embedded in the ROM, so you can see if you're in deep sleep or not and how the battery's going. Um, give it a try. Best ROM by far. Kiwi guy out.